Okay, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to get Raspberry and Jesse running on Windows using the QMU emulation software. So what you're going to want to do is click the link in the video's description. There's a link that will take you to download this file here. If you use WinRAR or WinZip or even Windows 7 or above's built-in zip extraction software, you'll get these files here. It's about 4 gig in size unpacked, it's about 1.6 gig or so uh, compressed but once you've got it extracted, double click on run.bat and as you can see it's booting up Raspberry and Jesse so it will take a little while to boot up it's not the fastest, it's probably not even as quick as running up natively on a Raspberry Pi even though this is actually running on an Intel Core i5, uh, I think it's 2410M, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, dual core, dual thread, 8 gig of RAM, but the emulator has got its maximum of 256 meg of RAM set. Um, I am looking for a better way to emulate this, but for now this works. So we'll just wait for this to boot up. Take a little while. I'm just going to wait for this to get to the command line. Uh, once it gets to the command line, all you've got to do is type in uh, start x, or one word. That will start up the x desktop environment. Uh, but we're going to pause for that because it does take a little while to get into the x desktop environment. So shouldn't take too much longer to get to command line. For some reason this does start in the emergency shell, but it seems to work okay, so... It says root account is logs, but then it logs in as root, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, it doesn't do it on Raspberry and Wheezy for some reason, so... But there we go, start X, press enter. You'll get a little more, bit more text come up underneath. Eventually. There we go. So then the screen goes completely black and we'll wait for the mouse cursor in desktop environment to load. So as you can see now we're at the X desktop environment. Uh, we've got an error saying about no session for process ID 417. I haven't looked what process ID that associates with at the moment, but if we just just oh, click off that. And there we go. Does seem to be a bit of an issue with the mouse. Obviously I will update the link in the description as I find a better or newer, more version of the operating system that works but for now this does work you can do python scratch everything you can do on raspberry pi so uh yeah i think we'll leave it there just click, click the link in the description download the zip file extract it and double click on run.bat thanks for watching